<laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, happy Friday the 13th, you guys. Yes, happy Friday the 13th. Me look too. at look at Andy, everybody. Yeah. He just he's taking it. So am I. I've got my witch and I've got my candlelight. And Jackie has I'm forgotten have, it's Friday the 13th. No, I was running around and then I cooked and then I hurry up and got dressed. No, it's fine. We're <laughs> woofy. Woofy. So who had a uh, pet a pet? A um a doll named Woofy. Do you guys remember? Oh, oh. Uh, I know who she's cemetery. talking about. No, Eddie, no, Eddie. Terminator. Eddie. Terminator. Terminator. What? Yeah. How about how about um Eddie on the Monsters? Oh, there. <laughs> I, I think he had a little doll named uh Woof Woofy. Hey, Wendy. Hi. Hi. She's always in costume with her painted face on her profile picture. No, I love that mask. When do you ever wear that? I mean, do you wear? Do you really wear that and scare people? No. Oh, you don't. It's this just is, for fun. This is Brian's <laughs> mask. But I couldn't find my old man mask, which is literally like. An old man, wrinkled face, latex that fits snugly on your face. It looks real. And it looks real. And I went to um, a yard sale like that with a hoodie, and people just <laughs> looked at me. <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah. I mean, did it look scary or just look like an old guy? It it there's something wrong with it. You know, <laughs> you just know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, I love that you're in the spirit. Hey, Pam. Hi. Thanks for coming and watching and playing with us. Hey, you guys, we're going to be doing readings um, the last half hour. So post your questions and then post your questions again later. I tell people just keep doing it. So we make sure we see them all uh, today. Tonight at the end of the night, we're giving away Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen, which is like was my favorite because I just went there and got the card. It's always a good excuse to uh, get a giant ice cream. I love Dairy Queen. Just went there too with the family. <laughs> oh, I just got, I usually get a peanut buster and this time I got a big ice cream. So we will be, we will be doing that. And Andy, I told you who our sponsor was, right? Yep. Stacy. Okay. Cause I finally went and I found the, uh, I hope I can show it. Um, one of the necklaces and the earring sets that are just $5. And let's see if I can get that up there. You see, it looks yeah. like a giant diamond. Yes. I oh. mean, it's, it's really huge, guys. It's really huge. And it's a lot of fun, too. I cannot ever get anything right. There we go. It's really fun to, it's not a sparkly bit. There you go. It's really fun to, you know, I don't know. It's like five carrots or something. It's fun to kind of, there you have the picture. You're so good with that stuff. And I have the earrings. They look like they're a carrot each. I can't wear any now that I wear headphones. Unless I like glue them on or something. I don't know. <laughs> so we're, we love Stacy's jewelry and I love, that she sends me stuff. Um, and she's our sponsor, Paparazzi Accessories. And uh, we'll talk to about her a little bit later also in the um, in the uh, hour. And so Friday the 13th, you guys, and also an eclipse. Yes. Did you guys, oh. I don't know if you saw, I found this minister that just said, hey, you know, it's really bad luck today. It's gonna be really terrible. And so I posted it on 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 Psychic Fix's fan page. I don't believe in that, and um, I always feel like you can manifest the good energy and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, he uh, had a lot of fire and brimstone for today. But I think we're getting through it. Okay, Carlos is in the house, <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, so, yeah, um, it's a, a solar eclipse, but some of you can see it. Some of you can't see it. 
Um, but that we need to get somebody in that talks about the retrogrades and stuff because I don't even want to hear. I'm like, la, 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 when they're talking about how things are going to be really hard or whatever because Mercury's in retrograde or something. And uh, apparently a lot of that stuff is going to hit the fan soon. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't see the eclipse. But that that's okay. But uh, that was an awesome one when it went across the U.S. That was neat. Yeah. I would have liked to have gone for that one. Or I guess, Andy, you saw that one. Yep, I was in the path. Yeah, yeah we were not. <laughs> that must have been really freaky, though, it being all dark like that. I was at work. I mean. Yeah, our, you know, uh, our uh, you, Was it in your path, sensors. Jackie? You, so it was in our path, but the, it was so cloudy in Georgia that you could see. barely see it. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, so, you know, we have a story contest and I'm looking through stuff because I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to buy an autograph picture and I'm looking for the right one. I, I could have gotten Johnny Depp and Harrison Ford in um, his, as Indiana Jones and stuff like that. And I'm still looking for the right thing. And then I was going through stuff and I found some, I did find something. I don't know if I'm going to put that in the basket for the winner, but who is that? Tyler Henry. Oh, yeah. Wow, I knew that was Can so you fast. guys see what this says? Is that his signature? Oh, yeah. It says autographed. No, it says autographed. Wow. So there it is. Oh, so wow. this could That's go awesome. in that basket. We have a $300 grand prize for a story contest. So, Andy, can well, can you do it with your mask? Can you tell them about the contest? Yeah, we, uh, so what we're doing on the contest is we'll have, I'll, I'll post the link to the contest rules. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. You're, you're fine. So, um, it'll be just a second here. I'm, I'm going to pull up the contest rules. Okay. Well, I I'll go ahead and ready. I can tell them. So, um, we, we have context contest rules that you can look at. And what we want really is some kind of paranormal scary story that's true. And you can go ahead and write it up and you can go to psychicfixes.com and you can just paste it in and send it to us. Each story that comes in is an entry into our $300 prize giveaway. And um, we are going to do a random drawing. So everybody's fair game. It's not the best story or the longest story or the shortest story or whatever. It is one story per entry. So you can put multiple stories in, multiple entries, and chances to win. So we are going, uh, we do know that in the prize, we're going to have a Visa cash gift card and that's at least fifty dollars and we are going to do full reading gift certificates are going to be in there and um probably an autograph picture from a really famous celebrity because that's what i'm going to that's what i'm meaning to get and um <laughs> or maybe a book from tyler henry that's signed and um oh my goodness what else are we putting in i know we have more stuff oh tarot deck for andy's one of yeah. his design tarot decks which is really a neat prize isn't that neat and mm -hmm. andy will sign that and also a i don't have the books right here um a signed copy of the little book of big evil right and another big bonus you guys we may use your story in our next book or our third book okay we've got a trilogy going the first one is absolutely fabulous is selling really well and the fact is we you know there's people that are afraid to read it unless it's daytime so <laughs> it's really it's really got great stories in it and we're working on the second one and we hope to find some of the stories that are sent in and now we do have a deadline you guys so you don't have a long time to do this so do get your stories in right away, but we have the link up and um, you may, you know, it's just a drawing. You have a good chance of winning $300 worth of prizes and you're going to love it. So 
hopefully I remembered most surprises and stuff. I do have like the Lord of the Rings autograph picture with the ring. I mean, I might put that in. Who knows? I've got all kinds unless you want like a, I want to do like a horror or paranormal type of sci-fi picture celebrity, somebody that's in that. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I can't, I always have, you know, George Clooney and Tom Cruise and all kinds of people. Or you can even go, I've got Barbara Streisand. I've got everybody. <laughs> so I think that's going to be worthwhile for everybody to, uh, to do. So today is uh, Friday the 13th. And really 13th always been lucky. Somebody changed that over time. But um, we thought it'd be fun to talk about some of the little ghost stories or paranormal things that have happened. And Andy, you've got some pictures, don't you? And I, I think do. I gave you I gave you the order to show them. Um you did. And and you forgot <laughs> the order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I well, do know the first one. Okay. And Let me the go. Last one. Okay, hold hold on just a second. So I've told the story. Yes, the necklace story. <laughs> I have told this story before. Uh, because it's so, it's not a scary story, but I just thought it was so interesting. I did want to share it with you guys. Today I went down and kind of went over the path. I didn't have a lot of time and quickly snapped some pictures. So I was at a friend's house for the first time and she looked at her phone. The GPS said it was going to be 45 minutes to what usually is six or seven minutes mm -hmm. for me to get home the way that I came, which was the only way I knew how to get there. And so I said, uh, no, I don't want to go 45 minutes because that's crazy. I said, is there another way out? And she said, uh, yeah, I've gone that way. So I just kind of went a different way about remember how how I did it. I don't remember any of the streets or how what I did. I said, no worries. No worries. Oh. Now, are you OK? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yay. OK. Um, so I said, no worries. I don't have, I didn't have a smartphone and a GPS or any of that stuff. Okay. Old fashioned me. And so I said, okay, I'm going to find my way home using the, my spirit guides. So uh, one of the things that I do, and if you guys ever need to know how to do it, is how to talk to uh, other people's spirit guides and also how to talk to your own. So I asked the spirit guides to help me and bring in another spirit guide that was a specialist in navigation. And I said, talk to them and I said, look guys, I'm gonna just turn the opposite way that I came in. And I said, you guys are gonna get me home by showing me the signs. And I said, literally, you got to show me the signs so I can get home and not be lost because I need to get to Penasquitos. Okay, so what happened was I um, I went and uh, turned left and then the first cross street and I was on Weston. The first cross street was what, Andy? Can you show me the show the picture? Was my name, Duncan. And I was so surprised, even though I asked for them to literally give me a sign to show me the way. So when I saw Duncan, I'm like, yes, that means keep going, keep going. And the next cross street with the stop sign, or I had a sign was that showed me I was on the right path. Hmm. Was, uh. so first we have my last name. So I knew I was there and all these, all these, um, these places were astrological signs. So it was funny to have Duncan. The next time I stopped, there it was Libra. That's my sign. I was born on September 24th and I go, thank you. I know I'm going the right way. Cause you go about four blocks then you stop and I go, okay, Libra. Good. I'm on the right path. So I keep going through all these astrological signs 
And then I get to this next one. It's like we need a drum roll. <laughs> Capricorn. Yeah, it's the sky. <laughs> Does it say, can you see Capricorn? Yes. Okay, cut off to me. So Capricorn. When I went to Capricorn, I go, stop. My two ex-husbands were both <laughs> Capricorns. <laughs> so I didn't go any further. I knew to turn right. Some, you know, I'm psychic. I said, turn right. So I turned right and I followed Capricorn all the way to another street, which was Black Mountain Road, which I knew where I was in Penasquitos. And I turned left and went right home. And so I, I know there was one street I missed, and I think that was Aries, which was my current husband's sign. But I'm trying, you know, we're trying to take pictures and drive, and there's a police officer over here. <laughs> I think that we are going to do a video of this and go hit all the signs and do the path that we did, uh, that I did when I was lost. Hi, Sabine. So literally, this was the strangest thing. I really needed a sign to get me home. Didn't know how to get home. And the first street is Duncan. And then I knew, I know where I'm going. I'm going to follow those signs. So anyway, to me, that was really freaky, wonderful. And I shouldn't have been surprised. I mean, really. But that was really, really, that was really. <laughs> Jackie? I think someone's messing with me over Friday the 13th. So. Do you weird. think somebody's there? Yeah. Oh, really? A friendly ghost? I think it's one of my grandmas messing with me because they like to do stuff like this to I'll me all the time. I'll just say, Grandma, we're on camera now, so it's either materialize or get out. I told her, <laughs> if you're going to be here today, you need to behave as I was changing really quick. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, well, anyway. Well, it's been a heck of a day for me yesterday. I fell and uh, wow. really hard. I'm glad I'm here today. But, uh, you know, it wasn't a ghost. It was my flip-flops, the flip-flop monster. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, so that I thought was kind of a neat story. We um, have some of our scary stories um, in the book. And I sat down and I thought, what kind of, you know, what has really scared me? you know, as far as the paranormal goes. And mm -hmm. really, I've gotten a really bad vibe from a memorial park. That's that Karanat Memorial Park. Mm -hmm. I, you know, er everybody in the dead talk in my group of mediums, they love it. They want to be there. Thank you, Wendy. They want to be there and they want to experience it and this young girl was um made to go off the freeway and a police officer killed her and threw her over the bridge and so they have a memorial park down there and it is really creepy and that's where they talk to the the frogs are really loud and then you talk to them and ask a spirit to quiet them tell them to be quiet and that means yes or no, and they do it. Mm -hmm. And and I've I saw a Vince. I should have had Vince on here. I'm going to have Vince on here, um, in a, two weeks, I think. Vince was there, and he's done a lot of exploring in San Diego. And I described this guy, and I think I said he was a police officer, um, or firefighter, or whatever. And I gave a name and all of that, and um, I saw him standing there. And so Vince and his wife went home and they, you know, did their magic searching and he came up in a picture and looked exactly the way I said and his job and his name and his name. Wow. And they found his stone was there behind me um, at the memorial. But to me, that gives me a lot of, um, uh, you know, and Cheryl says the sign gives the creeps. Um, to me, it's really uh, creepy. 
Now, as far as ever getting scared, I go, I can't really remember. I can't really remember being scared of anything. And I've investigated everything. I've had stuff fly. I have all been touched. Spirits go through me. And I said, gee, did I ever really get scared? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know. How about you guys? Is there anything paranormal-ish or going somewhere that really gave you a crazy vibe? I just know one story from when um, we were still living in California and saying in Ramona, actually. Um, and we were living in our apartment, my mom and I, and I was supposed to go to a bowling birthday party um, at the bowling alley for one of my mom's co-workers' daughters. And that morning, I ended up waking up really sick and having like the worst migraine ever. And I remember telling my mom, I don't think I'm going to go. And um, her friend had called me. She's like, you know, if you feel better, let me let me know. And it's just like something in my gut wasn't right. Well, there actually ended up being a shooting at that bowling alley that day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, well, see. I, but it, just something in my mind was like, you don't need to go. You're not going to go. Yeah. There's a lot of stories of people that just didn't get on the plane, you know, for the twin, the um, tow the towers, the twin, to the twin towers, towers, or on other times there was disasters. You know, that's a premonition. Mm -hmm. And I was just watching Sid Roth. You guys know who Sid Roth is? Anybody uh -oh. there that's mm -hmm. watching ever watch it? Sid Roth is it's supernatural. That's the name of his show, and. Oh. He, he very much believes in Jesus he, uh, and uh, as the savior and he's Jewish and he puts those two together and he has people on that have had near death experiences that have got, died and gone to hell, died and gone to heaven and healing, miraculous healings of people, people with on their deathbed in hospice of HIV, you know, healed. And so I was watching him. He was talking about discer discernment of uh, spirits. And um, this is one of the things that I give. Uh -oh. I mean, I've had plenty of. Hmm. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> yes. Let me I tell can. you this. And Debbie, Debbie you're, you're, cut, you. you're cutting out. <laughs> you're cutting out. Uh oh. Should I go? Should I go out? Am I still cutting out? Kind of, but now it's okay. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. now you sound fine. It's so okay. Strange. You guys That's actually fine. froze and were sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they, somebody doesn't want this talked about. I don't know. But in Second Corinthians, it talks about the gifts that God gives gives to some people and dis discerning spirits is one prophecy, you know, all of this stuff like I do, you know, I was just asked, I don't know if I even told you guys, but sidebar, I was asked to do an art, art um, project with some, um, a student in college and I did it on what was going to happen in 50 years. So mm -hmm. that was interesting. But anyway, so discern spirits um, means that you can see a spirit that is uh, who they truly are, okay? So it means some people can see demons and things like that. So part of your getting your premonitions, Jackie, is that usually down in the solar plexus, you're, it generates and you get that uneasy feeling in your gut that mm -hmm. something's going to happen. And that's when you are discerning that there's something going wrong or if you see a person and you got, got bad vibes. I get that all okay. the time. That means that they probably are have an attachment or a possession or mm -hmm. they may even be a demon. So um, you get that. Oh, I don't like that guy. That guy gives me the creeps, you know. And so that's that's part of this wonderful gift from God. You have this gift from God of being able to um, to discern if they're good or evil and what they are. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who can actually see them as demons. They are very grotesque looking people. I'm mm -hmm. looking back at Andy going, he still has that mask on. 
<laughs> you are gonna wear that, aren't you? All night. <laughs> You guys, please, if you have a question, if you want me to do a general reading for oh, you yeah. tonight or a question, please go ahead and write it write it in. Of course, we don't do certain ones. We don't do health and um, certain ones that might take a long time. So, But definitely that is what was going on with that, Jackie. Mm -hmm. And um, Cheryl, you get it too? It runs in the family, doesn't it? I think Our the families. people one, yeah. Like I get really bad chills when I have somebody that just as as Aunt Debbie likes to word use the word sketchy. <laughs> so ah. when I have somebody walk by and if they make eye contact with me or they their energy is just I get really bad chills and I get like this gut feeling and I'm like, Okay, I'm not gonna talk to that person. Keep, keep Larissa keep Larissa's up. Now, let me tell you guys, if you didn't see Wednesday's show, would you please go and watch it? It was the best show yeah. we've done. It was incredible with Kevin Lee, who wants to come back on and and do mini shows with us. And um, so, Larissa, you're talking about um, and you saw an alien form. What you guys actually don't see is, and I can't go into all of it, but was after the show, when we were talking about all the different types of entities there are there, we, we've got aliens in physical form. We have aliens in spiritual form. We have elementals. We have so many things and there's a lot of dark things out there a lot. Mm -hmm. And so my eyes got opened wider than they are at the after show in the lobby. And I can't wait to, you know, to, to delve into more of this stuff. So the aliens and Larissa, I believe that you consented that you would be on our show. And I really would like you to pick a date. We'd love to have you on and talk about this seeing that alien form. And we're going to be getting more and more into this. We are going to um, talk to people that have experiences with aliens and um, people that channel the Palladians and all of that. Because, it's you know, some of us can only see certain things because that's comfortable. That's our comfort, comfort zone is for us that some people, I believe in angels. That's all I believe in. And I met somebody like this. I only believe in angels. That's all there is. That's her comfort zone. That keeps her safe. That keeps her secure. Because she doesn't want to know about the demons and the devils. Okay? She doesn't mm -hmm. want to know about poltergeists and things like that. So she believes in angels. So there's some people that are have narrow scopes. I have a narrow scope. I don't know anything about fairies and elementals. I know very little, though I worked with the secretary of George Adamski. If you like Adamski, he was here in San Diego and I um, facilitated a program with his secretary after he had passed. So mm -hmm. I know a little bit, but I, I, I'm tending to go more for the monsters and I'm more the Scooby-Doo than I am, you know, the going, the lost in space. So we have to open ourselves up and have an open mind to these things. We can't shut it down. People are having experiences. When I first started meetup, I had this man come. I thought he was so way out. It was crazy. Now he was Native American. And he had certain experiences, but one, and he saw this thing, and so did his wife. And he said he went to the door of his home, and there was a man that was half, like his head was a male lion's head. Oh, wow. And then the, the wow. man body. And not just him. When he told me he saw it, I'm like, Okay, like, I'm not really sure if you had a little peyote. I really don't know what's going on here. Um, and then his wife said she saw it. And I'm going, okay, do I want to know about this? How comfortable is am I with knowing that there is an entity out there that can materialize as solid as anything and be a, have a lion's head and a man's body? I mean, like, hi, Paul. I mean... 
can you imagine? How would I react in seeing that? I haven't seen that. I've seen things. I've seen things that would scare the heck out of people, but I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wonder, that made me go, oh, wait a minute. So we have our own, you know, comfort things. So hopefully in all these, you know, wonderful shows that will are to come, we're going to be able to have the guests on that have personal experiences like Larissa and have seen these things. And um, definitely we've had aliens described differently, but kind of this, a lot of them the same in their faces and stuff. So, um, oh, Larissa. Oh no, you're not weird. I'm sorry. Um, I think it's interesting. And I think that there's so many people that absolutely have had these experiences. So um, we are going to try to maybe reach out to move on. Lainey Wilkin just had a host show on uh, these scientists and doctors that um, truly believe and we're on the show. So hopefully we can get one of those guys to be on the show also. So anyway, it's it's really great. And of course, I'm going to stand up or sit right here and tell you guys that I have seen ghosts. I have seen all kinds of stuff. I have seen scrabblies and gumbies. They're in our book. I have seen all kinds of things, dark energy and and dead people a lot of dead people. So, um, you know, I own that one. <laughs> so did Larissa say something just previous? Happy 13th, Paul. Yes. Oh, it will enlighten you. Yeah. Experience well, that'll be great. You. Yeah. Because I need to know, I need to, 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 you know, embrace that. My sister saw a UFO, not an alien, but UFO, but I met a man that had experience of um, an up close of a ship seeing the people in it. So, and absolutely he was very credible and um, a friend of my husband. So that was amazing. So we still have a devil right there mm -hmm. in our, in our show. <laughs> Andy, have you ever experienced anything that may, gave you the creeps or anything strange that you've seen? Oh, yeah. Um, as a kid, when we'd go out to my grandparents' farm, and it was actually my grandpa's parents' house. It, it was their homestead. And we'd go out there, and sometimes, you know, it was just used for storage, so there wasn't anything there. But I experienced, uh, I believe, uh, ancestor, my grandfather, pushing us out of that house. Um, and the other spooky thing was up at Gold Hill Inn, when I turned and looked, and there was no room for anybody to be behind me, they... Um, I had seen an apparition right just manifest with my physical eyes. I could see this ghost for a split second and it was a Western ghost and you don't expect any, I mean, I'm not expecting to see somebody like over my shoulder. So it, that gave me the creeps. Mm. Oh, wow. I had a girlfriend and we were, go we grew up together and she was in an old barn in Maryland and that belonged in the family. And um, she and her sister had gone up to the attic and there was an old bed there in bed springs. So they got on it and they were jumping up and down. It was probably a little dangerous. Everything was rusty and all that. Jumping up and down when her grandmother appeared in front of them and in Polish told them to pretty much cut it out and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and she remembered that when she was little. She said it, she, I can't remember the grandma, babushka, bab, something, uh, grandma name, but she said, oh my goodness, she appeared and yelled at us. <laughs> Stop it and get out. Uh, and they did. They ran because, you know, grandma was dead. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to do some readings. I don't know. Did anybody post a question or want a general reading? 
Oh, just like you, I want a general see. reading. I Somebody see said, do you on. see my uh, Reiki business being successful? Angel. That's what Angel put down. That's oh, the Angel? only okay. only question I've okay. seen. We will do that. Yeah. If you can find it, Andy, you can put it up. Hi, Angel. So, and go. I'll connect to it. Thank you. So I had to I have to show off these fingers to everyone. <laughs> you know. I don't know if you can see that. Andy, what did I tell you about stealing dead people's fingers? <laughs> I was just having a snack. Um <laughs> yeah, I guess one of the most Creepy things as a kid growing up that wasn't real, but I thought he was real was Freddy Krueger. So I I have a Freddy Krueger glass mug. Wanted to show everybody from A Nightmare on Elm Street. So, I don't know. That Fun, funny that you say that. I remember when we lived in Cancun, Mexico. My mom and I. Um, my biological father was working at Planet Hollywood in Cancun, and they actually had the Freddy Cougar sweater oh. <laughs> at the restaurant. Oh, wow. And I used to stare at it and think, how did he drop it off here if he's a scary person? Because <laughs> right. I was so little. <laughs> huh? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, so guys, if you have any other questions, make sure you put them down in um, the comment box and see if we're able to do the reading for you. So make sure you put in your questions. Okay, I'm ready with angels. Okay. Hey, angel. Um, angel, now you do know that, um, and I'm sure that you manifest for your business. You do know sometimes with metaphysical metaphysical businesses, you might have to branch off to something else. But let me go. Um, I have the card of a lot of worry, like magnified fears over right now for you. Crossing is the queen of swords. So I get a very, I feel always like queen of swords are the best women in the tarot. They're, they're intelligent and they are, they have a justice theme and they are a big presence. And so very much the strongest leader. So I love that strength that you have. Um, also that justice theme of wanting what's right. Okay. I do feel like that after after fashion, you're going to have a mentor. So I feel like that's going to probably propel you into something else. But that person will be right there with you, teaching you, and it's going to be absolutely a blessing. Now, it shows me the ace of pentacles in the past position. So here is our new project or our new job. Now, I feel like you're going to go along with the flow for quite a while. Just whatever happens and comes, you're just whatever's good for the business is good for you just kind of going with the flow but i want you not to be impulsive in anything that you do you need to take a back seat and research and not commit to anything right away if it comes and it looks great don't jump at it okay i need you not to sign contracts or anything really think things over before you implement it okay before you commit to it i do feel like that as now, as businesses start, right, Angel, um, and go, um, I feel like money comes in and it pays out. Money comes in, it pays out. So I really feel like uh, a large part of time is that money coming in and going out. But money should come in and get reinvested if you can, you know, and do it that way. But it's showing me juggling money right now uh, mm -hmm. or coming up. And so we want to manifest the money to actually to really come in. Um, I think that you're going to have another thing that you've done in the past. And you're going to bring it into the business, okay? So something you did before this, something that you know how to do will come back in, okay? Then I feel like here comes the money. The money comes in more on a stable um, path um, in, um, you know, in increments, say monthly, and it will grow. So I feel, I feel really good about that. And I feel like it's going to be a year you're still kind of juggling with the money. 
And then I feel finally after a year, you get this something that you used to do in the past, past you know oh hey i remember i did that i'm going to bring it forward here and comes in um i want to tell you though the ultimate outcome card is feeling a loss so when you look at the five of cups and the guy has five full cups and three fall over we have like a little bit over a 50 percent loss here so i feel like you know uh for having information is um, forewarned is forearmed. So I feel like right now you can manifest for the money to come in. Manifest, manifest for that idea from the past to come in to find out what else do you need to bring in with this Reiki business. And I feel like um, um, just make sure you're not impulsive. Don't do anything rash. Be very thoughtful in your business. And I feel that will make a change. Okay, because I, I feel like you want more prosperity needs to come into these couple of years that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to get going. Metaphysical businesses are really tough, you guys, to do it full time. You really do need to bring in other things, be it a product line or a partner or, um, you know, an added service. But I feel like an added service will come later and then the money is going to be better. This is what I have. Thank you, Angel. Good luck. Do that. Do that great manifesting and bring great things in. Because we need all these metaphysical businesses to blossom and to be successful. Because that's the way that's going to heal the world. Is to really get the metaph metaphysical things out there. Okay. And the metaphysical healing is wonderful. I got some yesterday after my fall. And to mo this morning, I was really, really good. So, all right. So, that, there was that one. Do we have anything else? I have a lot of people that come after the fact, after the show. Mm -hmm. We have we have X amount of people. And within an hour, we've got 100 people viewing. With about an hour and a half. Or maybe even more, we've got 250 people watching the show. And then they're asking questions the next day. And I'm like, I'm not here. So, sure, uh, Larissa. Yeah, Larissa's like, reading, please. <laughs> Larissa, is there certain, do you want a general? For, or what can I look at? I think she just wants to see what you get. But so the, I, I would consider that a general reading, but let's see who else has one. Just a general, Larissa. Just kind of whatever they want to say. Let's do that. Whatever the other side wants to say, wants to tell you, okay? Yeah, yeah general. Okay, you guys need to talk while I do this. I'll be dead ready in a minute. I, I feel like I'm not talking to Andy, though, with that mask. You want me to take it off? <laughs> no, you can definitely leave it on. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's 100% yeah, committed to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, Timothy, Angel said... Timmy, Timothy said, lose the mask. It's not working for me. Maybe it's because I'm like Angel. That was a really bad joke. Because we know bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, for Angel's reading, though, she did say, yes, I am all about the justice. Yeah. And she also said, thank it's you like, so much. It's like Queen of Swords. It's like... A Anything is like a, a dog with a bone. You don't let go. You just don't. And it's hard to, Angel, if it's, I'm a queen of swords. If I, it's hard to watch the news because it's so bad and you just want to fix the world and you just can't stand right. seeing that. You know, if there's any injustice, killer, it really is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Larissa says she likes the mask, Andy. Yeah. Thank you, Larissa. So I'm just saying, as far as right now, it's like, what, three against one? <laughs> oh, <the> yes. <laughs> so I think the okay. people that enjoy the mask are winning right now. 
<laughs> uh, let's see. Do okay, have... I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Is, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Larissa. Larissa, the card that came down for you is really a great card. It's a sun card. This is uh, my happiest card. I love this card. Um, it is, um, even though it's happiness and success, I get also... There may be something that comes up for you as far as a career, like a possible career offer. Something's going to come and present, I'm sure. I get working along well with people and getting along with people. Um, this is over on your mind to, to do it or whatever, but I'm getting that. I do get the Queen of Cups for you, and I love the Queen of Cups. This is a psychic person, someone with really good intuition. And uh, Queen of Cups is very nurturing, can really take care of things. And I love that. And super creative. So um, creative in so many ways. A lot of the Queen of Cups will be, because of the nurturing part, they're nurses. Because of the creative part, they're in the fine arts. So I get this creativity and this very much romantic and loving person. So mm -hmm. I love that personality. I feel like that you may have made a change in your life. Like, the way that you were or some of the things that you had going in your life, you were kind of ready to just leave it. And I want to go towards my future. I'm ready to go towards my future. I do get good news of money for you. So I feel that's really great. I put a timing on this. So sorry, but they're not going way in the way in the future with this. I feel good news of money and I feel like you're going to be getting something that you really should get, like getting your uh, reward. Oh, so she's she's nurturing in that way like a nurse. Yeah. Um, I get a reason to celebrate. So you will. Uh, I feel like you're going to get some money or good news of money and get something that you really want. And there's a celebration there. It can be a party or whatever. But we have a really big reason to celebrate. And I love that. Now, part of this intuition thing also has to do with sometimes psychic ability. So you do have the card, the moon, which sometimes is paranormal activity or psychic ability coming, and mm -hmm. I get it at night. So I feel like that's going to be coming up for you, right? Um, now, I do get the page of swords, so I feel like so at some point you're got, there's a trust thing coming. So maybe not trusting what's ahead or a trust issue happening. And... I feel like it's canal. I feel like this guy is, this guy's hard to commit type of person or maybe one who is impulsive also and does rash things. Maybe they speak before they think type of thing. So mm -hmm. I'm connecting this kind of trust issue with a male. Okay. So I'm getting that, but really leading up to that. And that is something you can manifest and we'd love to give you our book if we haven't already. But I feel like we have this wonderful opportunity of maybe a, a, a career thing and also money coming in. And I really believe a re reason to celebrate, which is really going to be great. Sometimes that's just a big party, something to look forward to. And also being that Queen of Cups, when anybody does a reading for you, that card should come up for you. So that is really good. I like that. Any questions about it, just private message me, okay? And that was that one. Remember, guys, at the end, uh, Dairy Queen, does anybody have time to bring up a random uh, generator on um, in a, off the internet? Let's see. Oh, yeah, the Google. Yeah, yeah, could you just put random generator for us? Because we're yeah. getting, we're, uh, we, we started a little late, which is the, we always do that. Um, we're going to get better. I keep saying that. We're going to get better. Do you know that Kevin Lee said we were so professional? Yeah. And I really <laughs> laughed. I really, I laughed. I'm like, <laughs> If only you knew the struggle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I really loved him um, on Wednesday. I think I learned so much. Yeah. And it was just I'm gonna so do, interesting. Yeah. I'm going to do Carlos's in a, in a second. But 
Okay. Jackie, you really say what he did, but um, if you go watch it, he talks about certain mediums in the world that learn how to put, say, what, was it a box or something? He's and like you a could put a box or a three basket. by five North cords, cards, yeah. a basket or a box, three by five, it's a place start, three by five um, cards in it with colored pencils and stuff and put mm -hmm. it on the top and they charge the stuff that goes in. So I guess you put energy in it and then you, then you put it somewhere and I guess they were like doing ohm and all kinds of yeah. stuff. And during yeah. the process, when they, they portraits written on the cards yeah. and we showed the, we showed the pictures, which were phenomenal. But when, when Kevin was talking about like getting the energy up and putting the energy in there and one big ohm and this stuff happens. It reminded me of healing mm -hmm. when you're at one of the church revivals and they're going to, yeah. you are healed. <laughs> They've got a yeah. frenzy going, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the there's no little nice little um, waving um, music. It is loud. And everything gets up into a frenzy. And then all of a sudden the people get healed. I know there's something to the energy and the sound. You know, I really, I really believe that, that there's something there. And so we get it into a frenzy or you get that big energy going and there's the pictures that go on. But you guys go look at those. Oh, thank you, Larissa. Go to, um, go watch that on Psychic Fixes or, or um, the, is it up on YouTube on the Psychic Life? I think it is. Andy? No. No, no. Okay. Yeah. It's a, I put it on Psychic Fixes YouTube okay. just in case. So, but go just to the fan page and watch it because that's that's incredible. All these things are incredible that we're bringing to you. And and to to see those pictures is just mind-blowing. They're beautiful. Now, I'm going to get somebody. Yeah, I'm going to try to get somebody to do a demonstration on materialization. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we were talking, I think Kevin talked a little bit about things kind of transporting around. Mm -hmm. Well, haven't you missed something and it's right there? It was right there and it's not right there. Yeah. And you come back later and it's right there, yep. you know, and lots of stories of people like being in Europe and their camera was on the bed and they lost it. They come home and the camera is at home. You know, stuff like that. It's just crazy. But it's real. All of this stuff is real. So could you put uh, Carlos back up and so get that energy and ask about astral projection? Yeah. You know, when I was young, Carlos, Shirley McLean was the big one who started talking about astral projection. A lot of people, things like this were all quiet. People you know, talked about it in different circles, but it wasn't on TV. It wasn't big until she wrote a book and she told about going all over. Um, I knew you were going to get hot, mister. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Trying to fan you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You guys can you guys can talk now and let me go. I was trying to fan you for, you know, give me my oh, I could be fan. Jackie. I'm I sending you the that. energy of air to I cool can you feel it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm already cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can tell, we just like to have fun as well. <laughs> oh, look. So, you know, I'm sure Debbie has used these before, and I know some other people, but it's the Gypsy Witch cards. Um, I haven't even used these. And you can, let's see, you can tell the fortune. Tell Have you? The I've yeah. never used them. I've never heard of these. Fortune telling playing cards. Huh. So, I might have to try these sometime. <clears throat> Pull one for me right now. Should I? Oh, I got extra Joker for you. No, I'm just kidding. I have to open one. <laughs> Thank you. Pulled my card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. 
I have um, I I have some Chinese sticks. I almost brought them up. Uh, you shake them and you throw them out and you do the fortune. And then I have the angel angel number book I brought to have here so that we can look up and do some angel numbers. Too. Andy has yeah he has the, yeah, he has yeah the I have that I have that card app for that Debbie. And, and you have the actual book one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, these are, wow, these are purple. Wow. Yeah. They're tiny little cards. Yes. I have the answer for Carlos. Carlos. All yes. Right, Carlos. Okay, let me tell you what I have. First four cards are for you, Carlos. The first one is the nine of, um, this represents you right now, the nine of wands, which is being on guard. It's almost like artists, like somebody got nicked once, so they're kind of stressed and watchful and guarded and watching. So I don't know if, it, if it's with other people, but I feel like I've got nicked once, now I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. You know, I'm ready to fight. I'm watching. I'm just watching you. Um, I get this as representing you. I also have the six of swords crossing over you, which is a which I like is a healing. I feel like you need to heal and go to your future. But I feel like we've got some healing energy over you. Okay. Big card here for the future. You think, Carlos, blowing my mind here. You have the hangman card for the future, the hangman card. So you got, I, you know, and I don't ever say this. This came in my head. God's got a purpose for you. I feel like a preacher. God's <laughs> got a purpose for you, Carlos. That came through really clear. And it was like, cool. That got me. This, so I know, wow. You have, and I usually say this is like um, so something that you signed up to do in a contract before you came here and that it would be a, a lesson, but I don't want to even say that. How many thousand, almost 3000 readings I've done on Fiverr and I'm going to go on a different way and say, God's got a purpose for you in the future. This is a super big card and uh, first time ever and probably the last I'm ever going to read it that way. And I'm dang good at what I do. You, God's got a purpose that came in and got me in the stomach. God's got a purpose for Carlos, I was told. This is coming in the future for you. I feel so lonely. Past, I feel so lonely for you. You have the Ten of Swords. This is so sad. Um, it's This is a betrayal almost card, but it's one of feeling not supported. Like, oh, no, I'm all alone and I'm not supported. And so I get this for your past, okay? And that is in the past and remember that. And why you astro project, and this shows me you did, is you have the moon card here. This is that psychic ability card and things that happen at night. And it um, is also paranormal activity. So I'm telling you that you did it. And when you did it, you would have been asleep. Okay. First thing when I was shuffling the cards, I went dreaming, dream, night. And you have those cards still to come. I had, and I feel like a loving put in for you. I feel you as the king of wands, no matter what, no matter what anybody tells you or says or anything, I want you to know that there's ambition in you and you got to own it, okay? I feel like you could reach your goals if you go and take off for them. I feel like a little idea is going to come really fast. You're going to just jump on it. You're going to jump on it. It's going to put you in a different direction. Implementing that idea is going to be successful, so I have no doubt. You have the Knight of Cups card. This is a romantic dreamer. So this tells me when you dream, you are going places, okay? Do try to ask or do whatever you can to remember those dreams and put them down in a little diary or a piece of paper. I never remember my dreams. And I don't know what to do. I don't have the magic thing. People will just flippantly say, well, just ask the angels or ask God to remember. It doesn't work for me. But try to remember. You may be prophesied 
prophesizing, writing things down or channeling, writing things down. Andy and I do that. We channel by writing and typing. Okay. And yours could be your dreams. I get the arrow font card and I feel like on this path is going to, Life is going to flow easier for you. You've got to, you're going to go along with the flow. Whatever's good for everybody's good for you. And that is good. So I feel like you're going to have an easier flow of life that will come with that. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Carlos. That was a lot. <laughs> I didn't say just yes, but that was awesome. God good has reading. a plan for him, though. I, oh. God has a plan for Carlos. That came up. I was like, okay, I yeah. got it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was a great one. How are we doing? We're doing good on time. Good. I got to, yes. I'm so, I'm dehydrated, I'll tell you. I, when I fail, when I fail, Hi, um, you've got a, you got a shout out there. Um, when I fail, I, um, I've fallen before because I'm a flip flop groupie and i love flip-flops and i'm way too old for that right and i got my foot caught up in in my flip-flop in some wires but boy when i went down i got my ribs and that was the first time for that so i am like uh wow. right now I'm good place <laughs> i'm not somebody who likes to be in one place i like to do a lot of stuff so but i'm lacking in running around today for the first time in drinking in a so you got well look at the big thank you carlo we appreciate you so much we really do okay you guys talk huh. <laughs> here's one jackie which one uh, it's on the screen for tammy dodge um tammy. this is Aunt, or tamla dodge this is andy i've been seeing a yellow Butterfly every Been day. Seeing yellow butterflies, yeah. yeah. Every day for weeks. What do you think that means? So, uh, for me, I believe that we have spirit animals, or we see uh, deceased uh, spirits and loved ones uh, from the other side. Now, um, the way that I think of it is that spirit will manipulate nature objects whatever whatever it is to show you a sign like angels will show you um like repeating numbers um my deceased mother will show me 1208 in time uh, to let me know that she's there with me so that's my birthday and that's um something she would do so um as far as a yellow butterfly that would be something I would recommend you you can Google it and ask for um, ad animal totem uh, butterfly or yellow butterfly because I think the yellow would be significant as well and it feels like it'd be like friendship so there's probably some healing of friendship or or a sign of uh, true friendships so it's, I, I'm I I looked it up. Did you, Jackie? No, I was just going to say, um, I see, I don't see lots of butterflies, but every now and then, um, I know when I'm with my mom a lot and we go on our walks in the park, we'll see a butterfly. And um, I really think that's my grandma D just showing us that she's there with us because we had it follow us the whole entire walk. A lot of times they say butterflies are uh, brought by people that have have passed on. And um, lots of people will say birds fly and or butterflies come and land on them. And if we Google it, it says a it symbolizes a sunny and bright summer is ahead a, a yellow butterfly flying around you brings happiness and prosperity and seeing one means that something fun and exciting is on its way. Yellow butterflies represent new life in many cultures. So that seems like great to me. I love it. I love it. So that was neat. I like right. that one. That was a good oh, one. Look at Angel says it's happiness and freedom. There you go. Take that. That's really good stuff. I love that. <laughs> um, 
I think that we should probably um, talk about just a couple things that we need people to know. Um, we're going to be getting some guests on um, a lot of our shows. So that's really exciting. I'm going to go make people um, give me the dates that they're going to be on. And um, if you guys are in um, San Diego on the 29th, um, we're going to be putting on Psychic Fixes Meetup Group, a spirit circle. That's something to attend. It's like $2, $4, something like that. And most of the people are mediums. And you can bring something from a piece of jewelry or a watch or something that somebody that's past owns. And um, we will uh, all give you uh, messages from the other side. So it's a great and inexpensive way to uh, experience a seance. So that'll be the 29th. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. We have the full moon coming up on the 27th. So Andy, if it's okay with you, we'll go ahead and do some Wiccan work that day. Yeah. Maybe. Um, yeah. Actually, it's the day before. We're going to do it on the 25th. Because what people don't know, when you look on your calendar, guys, and it says full moon, the full moon's not that night. The full moon was the morning. So you're going to prepare the day before and put your stuff out the night before. Okay. So um, on, um, I'll write that on the calendar that we'll do some things. You guys write, write me anytime and tell me that, Hey, I want to see a love altar or a, you know, a spell or something like that, that we, that I could teach you to do um, for the full moon. Okay. And, and we'll talk about charging water and all of that kind of thing. I think that'll be a fun thing. And and then you'll be ready with everything by the next day to put out for Friday or Thursday night, actually. Okay? So the 25th we'll do it. And the 27th you'll have all your stuff used. So that'll be really great. And I'm going to try to get on the um, August 1st, I'm going to try to get Vincent, the one that is do doing all the investigations. Mm -hmm. We're going to be filming. We're going to be filming our um, paranormal experiences um, at a four-story theater on the, um, um, like, two weeks from now. And so I'll be able to, to say, hey, I need you on the show. We'll get Londi and Vince. That'll be a lot of fun. So, um we have a lot of stuff that we have slated in people, but please consider writing a story, a true story, your account, and entering our story contest for $300 prize. I can't wait. I can't. Well, we already have yeah. some stories. We're waiting. We really need them to come in. And it'll probably be the ver first part of August is going to be around our deadline. Mm -hmm. And the um, all the rules are um, posted. Andy, does it say like story contest rules? Yeah, yep, it does. Um, okay. Trying to find that link here. But it's on. It's on the. Uh, it's on the face. Facebook. Right. Yep. Yeah. So it should be in the description okay. as well, um, and in the comment section. Okay. Good. And yeah. Um, we can't, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. And you have a chance to maybe win autographed book by Tyler Henry. But I will tell me whose autograph you guys want. And I'll try to get it. Okay. And um, and it can be anyone. I mean, I have so many I can't even, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I was going to get some down. And I'm like, oh, it's way up there. I have lots of photographs uh, framed and lots of uh, memorabilia. What I really love is Harry Potter, and I've got a lot of Harry Potter signed stuff, and I have the Green Gots money that I'm not supposed to have. So we're not telling anybody that, right, that I have that. But um, I had an opportunity to get some in England, and uh, somebody had some, and then after I bought it, I heard, oh, yeah, that's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, shoot. Ah. But... Um, Anyway, I do have lots of uh, the Harry Potter characters and all their signatures in the cast. Lots of those. So we'll see. You guys tell me what kind of celebrity 
autograph picture you'd like and I'll try to get it. Um, what would you guys want? Hmm. Well, oh, Andy, you already have Jack Nicholson's. I well, sent that to you. The shiny. I would, mine would be probably pretty rare. I think Betty Davis probably. or Joan, Joan Crawford would be my pick. And yeah. I've never, I've never seen them come up, but I can manifest Christmas. Oh, yeah. Christmas. You know what? I caught like um, uh, Sophia Loren, and no, I've gotten yeah. Debbie Reynolds, and I've gotten. Um, thank goodness I got Debbie Reynolds because I had a lot of Carrie Fishers, so it was so great to get Debbie Reynolds. But um, once in a while it'll come up. One person that's elusive is you know that doesn't sign is like Sean Connery, and I mm -hmm. have him. Wow. So, uh, yeah, there's a, there's few few people that don't don't want to sign um, for oh, uh, at all. And there's like Rosie O'Donnell only would sign for children. I never did get hers, but, um, oh. but have a look. Jackie, who would you want? Probably somebody I don't know who they are. That's not true. I was really? actually thinking a comedian um, like Lucille Ball, I think would be like a really hers good one to up. have. Um, yes, hers comes up. Cause I, I Marilyn actually... Monroe is hard. Go ahead. I feel like everybody wants Marilyn Monroe's though. Um, but because I watch I Love Lucy on Hulu all the time. Okay. <laughs> so um uh Kim wanted that who's the Cumber Patch? Oh his Benedict name? Cumberbatch. Yes, and he comes up all the time. He's the, and uh, I should Dr. ask Who? her, do you really want it? Marilyn Monroe, of course, is an icon, huge, and she she, and she's passed for a long time. Hers does not come up. And um, it might come up in a different auction other than I'm privy to. Um, but the Beatles come up. I have Ringo. I got Ringo. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was thinking about getting Paul. Um, but I do have Ringo. Um, but well, I don't do ma magicians sad. too much. But I did donate Mary J. Blige and Elton John and Cher to a uh, charity. Wow. Charity. You just name one person that is my secret favorite artist in that whole entire oh. thing. Cher. I'm a huge Cher fan. Oh, Cher. I still kind of <laughs> cry over the fact that I gave Cher away. But she come, she does come up. But I really was like, I really wanted to give to a charity. And Cher was a, a big draw. And Elton John was a big draw. draw. Mary Jo wasn't as famous as she is now. Um, uh, or, you know, whatever. Even though it was like six years ago. But um, I want really, you know, those were the draws. They were in a trio to not individual, but the whole grouping to uh, get some money. Janis Joplin is, I doubt there's anything mm. yeah. out there. That's a know. really good one though, Janis Joplin. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of the people that are in, you know, Chris Helmsworth, I can get him in a second. Um, you know, uh, I, any of those people. Tom Lur Cruise. I was going to say, Larissa, if you want to see an authentic carving with Janis Joplin's name done by Janis Joplin. You go to Barney's Beanery in LA. It's actually the last place she was before they found her um, oh. dead the next day. She had a drink there and carved her name into the tabletop and they have it up on the ceiling. So, Oh, I would too. I, so yeah. I've been there. Oh I've gosh. seen it. I thought it was really neat, but Jimi Hendrix has, Eaten there. Um, there's been a lot of artists uh, from the 60s that have gone and ate or had a drink at Barney's Beanery. So if you're ever in LA, I'm trying like, to get go check them out. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm trying to get the boss. Do you know who I mean? The boss. The boss. No, I don't know who you mean. Who do, who do you, you mean? You guys know who the boss is? Somebody from New Jersey. Somebody from New Jersey. I'm waiting to see if anybody gets it. And he's a very famous rock and roll star. I'm not going to tell you guys. You said he's you a guys. very famous what? Rock and roll star. Hmm. 
Rock and roll star. The, From the, the 80s? Boss. From the 80s, people will... That's my now, guys. 80s or 90s, maybe. Um, boss. There's a lot of people... There's a lot of people uh, out there. Larissa said Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Larissa, for the answer. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's got a really cool one from back in the day um, uh, that keeps coming up, the, the same picture that he signed, uh, leaning against a car. And I, I go, oh, I want to get it. I want to get it for Neil because I think he'd look really like that because mm -hmm. he's from me. But he, he anyway, so you guys didn't bathroom. give me too many, too many that I can go <laughs> after. But um, definitely I'll get maybe somebody in the realm of fantasy or science fiction or something like that. Mm. But I want to get a big name for you guys. You know, Johnny Depp was available in Indiana Jones, um, Harrison Ford. His was this week. And I was like, didn't, you know, I have to remember what time it ends so I can bid. And I went, oh, darn. Uh, so I will keep, keep, uh, keep a lookout because I have plenty of time, but I just think a signed autograph would be a really neat thing to have in there. So I'll find something really good. I, I'm going to try and get something by Sunday so that we can, you know, put a picture up and say, here you go. You guys put your stories in. And um, in the scheme of things, we are going to boost the post, the advertising. So that's going to go out to thousands of people. Um, so do put it in. Johnny Depp, I have a lot of his pictures, and I almost bought, that's the one I was going to buy last Sunday. But he wasn't in costume. I want him to have him as the pirate. And he's done some, you know, some pictures that, some movies that were like, he's just wearing regular clothes. And I really want to get him in costume. You know who would be I like bought, a really good uh, autograph? I just like, I'm so sorry to cut you off, Aunt Debbie. <laughs> Millie, uh, what's her name? Millie? Millie Bob, the girl from Stranger Things. That that was a huge sci-fi oh, yeah, show this her. year. Millie Bobby Brown or something like that. Can she you played... send me her name? Yes, I I will find it for you. Um, is, okay, because is she I the don't one that shaved her head? Yeah, she's the one yeah. that plays the um, girl with the powers. Yes. Okay. I just, just thought about that. One. Oh, they could be. They could be naked. <laughs> what? Johnny Depp. That's why I want to wait. I want Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Michael Jackson's impossible. Carlos, get real. <laughs> I don't have enough money. I just give out Dairy Queen gift cards. Hi, <laughs> you guys put a number in. Hey, odds are good. I think there's only eight viewers now. <laughs> they'll be, they'll oh. be like. Three, four, five hundred people watching this eventually. So from one to one hundred, put your put it in, and let's. Oh, they have one. This is plain, but it shows you you get, you get vanilla ice cream. Okay. So and I will send it right to you. You have to private. You have to private message me your address if you win. Okay. So. Okay. If ever you, if you guys don't have a Dairy Queen, would you just private message me and tell me what what do you have nearby you? Okay, and then um, and you have the random generator. All you have to yeah. do is put the number in. Yep, and I've got it. Okay, okay good. So come on, you guys. Carlos, where's your number? Did you put your number in, Carlos? Yeah. Come on. You, <laughs> you, are, you have a purpose. God's purpose. You're going to come on. God has a purpose for you, Carlos, <laughs> and it's to win this yeah. Dairy Queen gift card right now. <laughs> Stay around look long enough. Huh. Look at it. And when was this Friday the 13th? <laughs> Hi, Kenzie. I love that name. I you know, the last time we had a Friday the 13th show, I picked the number and nobody guessed 13. I remember yeah. that. That's yeah. right. That was this a good one. This is our second one. one. Yeah. 
Okay, how, how many numbers do we have? Who's have, here and who didn't? Um, I have. Larissa, you put in. One. Carlos did. We have two people I put in the 13. 13. Mm -hmm. um, okay, do you want to throw that number out and re get new numbers from them? <laughs> Larissa says she's sticking <laughs> with it. She had it first. Okay, look at <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if it comes up, it's the thirteenth. Then we will do a random generator, and we'll do it between the people that tie. Okay. Yep. Aha, uh -huh, Carlos. Uh, is, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. We have thirteen, twenty-seven, <laughs> ten, thirty, and another thirteen. Because <laughs> well, guess. Angel said she'll go with eighty-eight. <laughs> no, I think you because they those two. I picked the number, I, you know, the generator, and I have 17, and those two are the closest. Oh, that's so funny. we have to do okay. it again. We'll have a, we're going to do it again. So those two people, who were they? So Larissa and Angel, pick a number. Angel, Larissa. pick a new number between 1 and mm -hmm. 100. And Larissa as well. Those are the two that have the tie. Okay, new I numbers. Can... I'm generated. Do they have new numbers yet? No, I, I don't see them put it in new numbers just yet. I would come watch this for an hour to get a chance to win at Dairy Queen. I'm going to get a taco uh, one. I promise we're going to be given tacos. Angel away. said 50 and Larissa said 55. <laughs> Like, if somebody said 50, I'd do 49 or 51. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, that's how they cut through uh, truth. Or, what is that? What's that one the where they spin the big right, wheel? They, the price oh, is right. Yes, the price that's is a right. cutthroat thing. Hmm. Who won? Who won? Andy, what was the number? Why? Oh, it doesn't show on there. No. Shoot. Um, let's check here. Well, he disappeared. <laughs> he's going out. <laughs> he's, 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 he's doing something. Okay. I don't know why he went away. He could just push the button. The random generator is right built into the Google and all you do is press it. and You tell him where you want it. One to 100. Push mm -hmm. the button. So. Okay. Hello. Hi. And he's right. back. Yeah. Who there you go. And who had that number? Who who had what's the numbers? I don't even see the numbers. So the numbers are between Angel and Larissa. Uh-huh. 50 so and 55. It looks Lare it was Larissa. Larissa. Larissa, because it was 40 something. Larissa, you win. Yay. Larissa, private message me your um address I and I'll you. send you Dairy Queen. Yay. Congratulations. That's great. Congrats. And it's time, time for us to go to the lobby. Okay. All right. Good time. Yes. And you guys, thank you so much. We love our viewers. Where's our people from Ireland and South Africa? I yeah. miss them. <laughs> um Yay, you won. We also are going to have a manifesting, how to manifest. Do you want to do that next Wednesday, a class on manifesting? Yeah. I mean, we wrote the book on it, for goodness sakes. Um, that would be the 18th. Tentatively, the 18th, we'll, we'll t uh, talk about manifesting and all the different methods to bring in whatever you want using not only that law of attraction, but the other people on the other side. How's that? There's my teaser. Yeah. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for for coming and watching us. And I forgot to turn on the, I forgot to put the batteries in her. So you guys can see my witch. Can you see my witch? Yep. Is yeah. she out of? Okay. Uh, I, did, I forgot shadow. to get her lit up. Darn it. Oh, well. Well, we could tell ghost stories by candlelight. All right. So we'll we'll think about doing manifesting on Wednesday because it will change your life. It changed my life. 
okay? It'll change your life. So, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, you guys, I'll see you guys in the lobby. Love you. All right. And Good night, everybody. Nice wave. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you guys next week. Bye.